Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Vixie, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, welcome back. So today I wanna to show you a flip through of my April setup. Since I don't have a March flip for you or an actual April setup video for you, like the process of that, I actually did film both of those videos and neither one of them turned out, so I trashed them both. So for those of you who don't know, I actually use a Motom. This is a personal cover. This is a personal Lux. It's the 2.0. It has the two um, little snaps here and a very, well, I was gonna say a very thick or a very wide, band like to clasp it but I'm I can't <laughs> I literally cannot my planner is too fat for that but that's probably because I've got some stuff in here that I could if I took it out it wouldn't be as fat but and I probably would be able to close it but since she never really leaves the house and I don't really leave the house with it there's really no need to make sure that it closes you know so I just kind of leave that tucked in underneath the pen loop this is in the color chestnut and I love it it's just such a beautiful color all right, so opening up, the front pockets are very boring. I, I I never know what to put in my front pockets. Honestly, somebody needs to teach a masterclass in front pocket deco because I would 100% join it. <laughs> I need all the help I can possibly get. Um, but I do get a lot of questions on this little pin. This is a magnetic moon pin that I picked up from Point Blank Coast Stationery. She's a little stationery shop down in Melbourne. Absolutely love her shop. So I got that there. And I think she also has it in gold too. So if you guys like gold and prefer that over silver, she's got that. And on this side, I just have a little Ollie clip and a planner card. I have a bunch of these in my freebies. Uh, it's linked in the description. And it's just, I think I've got like 16 planner cards of the office quotes because that's like one of my all time favorite series ever. And this quote in particular is probably, I think probably my actual all time favorite quote of the entire series. And there's like nine seasons. And it says, she's gonna be screaming her own last name. And so, but I'm not gonna get into it because if, you, if you're not an Office fan, you just, you know, you're not gonna get it and you're gonna be annoyed. So I'm not even gonna go there, but if you're an Office fan, go check it out. Link's in the description. You will not be disappointed, I promise. Uh, inside pockets, nothing has changed. Everything is the same. Um, that's just a little Polaroid that I made. Um, and then this is just a little Gloomies from Petite Gloom. I love her. So I just keep her tucked in the front there. This is a library card from My Minimal Planner really not a whole lot has changed I have taken out you know all of March's inserts and replaced them with April's this is new um this is one that I created because I myself am Gen X so I felt this was very appropriate for my planner this is my handwriting the Gen X is in my handwriting the gorgeous cursive is not but that is um and I've actually already shown this on Instagram and quite a few of you asked me where you could get it so I'm also going to put this in my freebies drive so just check that, it should be there. And if it's not, it will be soon. It's a work in progress to upload 12 sizes of that. Uh, we're just gonna keep going. None of this is new, this is all the same. This is my inbox section. This is my um, grocery section. And like, it will eventually be like a meal planning section. My, it's already so fat, like the pages don't even turn properly. So this is new, I just created a little section cover of April and I have slit it. Normally I won't do that if it's um, like something that I'm gonna reuse, but I'm not gonna reuse that. I'm gonna toss it at the end of the month. But I just want something really nice, you know, to sort of like define April. So I've got that in there. Um, my new sleep tracker for the month. I did really well with last month. I think I only fell off like twice. My month of kindness, doing pretty good. I've already skipped a couple of days because I completely forgot. <laughs> a new tracker, I've taken out my pixels, year, year in pixels, I took that out because I really don't need that, I think. TBD, whether or not I bring it back, but I did want to put in this digestive health because um, apparently this can change when you're in peri and then when you actually move into fully fledged menopause, this can change. Uh, so I want to start keeping track of that. Don't worry. I'm not going to be showing that with every flip. So you don't have to worry about TMI or whatever. So this is kind this is new. Um, and I have this because, oh, actually, you know what? Huh? It is the A's today and I took my vitamin D. I got this idea from, I can't remember her name, but I will have her Instagram linked. And I saw this and I thought it was absolutely genius. I went to her shop because I thought she might have this like as an insert in her shop and she didn't, unfortunately. So I just sort of like made my own janky copy in Canva, but um, I liked the idea of having a bigger tracking area for like the important things. This was another important thing and I guess it wasn't that important because now I can't remember what it was that I was going to track here. But vitamin D is a big one. I have been really slack on that. And my doctor was like, you need to continue taking your vitamin D because you know, you're basically right on the fence of being deficient <laughs> again. So you need to keep taking it because he wants to get my vitamin D way up there. So yeah, I have not been that great about it. I keep forgetting and I thought, well, if it was here and I have to cross it off every morning, then maybe that will encourage me to continue taking it. It mostly has. My vitamin medication tracker, this hasn't changed. Um, my peri, 
oops, I've condensed down to one sheet instead of having the two of them, but I may end up having to bring a second one back because I actually did want to start tracking when I woke up through the night and couldn't get back to sleep for a little while. You know, it's not like full on insomnia because I can get back to sleep, but it takes a while. So it could, I don't know if that's like a mild insomnia thing. I've never had insomnia, so I don't really know. I don't know if that, if mild insomnia is even a thing, but it's kind of like, you know, where you're napping. It just feels like you're napping. You're not like fully sleeping, you know? Uh, my period tracker, I'm not getting rid of that. Whoops. Um, this is my labyrinth inspired dashboard. These are now available in my shop, my Aquarius dashboard. My social media planner has changed a little bit this month. So I am keeping up, first of all, I'm keeping up with the actual overview, which is good. But the most important bit I think is this change. So when I first set up for April, I didn't put in that, you know, the tracking section. Okay. I wanted to grab my marches social media section so you could actually visually see. So that is the overview for the month. That's the Instagram actual post calendar and then my actual post calendar for YouTube. This is the section here. I thought I actually didn't need this because for whatever reason, when I was setting this up in my brain, I was like, well, you never use it. I don't know why. I don't know why my brain went there because uh, I've clearly used it, right? You can see I've clearly used it. It might not have been every day, but I've used it. So I don't know why my brain was like, well, you never use it. Why even bother printing it out? But for whatever reason, I listened to my brain and I didn't print this out for April. So as I was going through in my head, I was thinking, what should I post? Like, what should I be taking video or doing videos of? And then what should I be taking photos of for Instagram? I thought I needed this back, but I didn't want to reprint everything because, you know, it's, it's kind of ink intensive and I already need to replace two cartridges. So I didn't want to reprint that. But what I did have were all of my blank Nada notes week on one pages inserts. These are free on her Tumblr account and I'll have it linked below. So I just grabbed these and this is what I've been using. And you guys, it's brilliant. So I just have like a regular piece of note paper, which I'm amending to include in this bundle. And oh, okay. So by the way, I am working on this bundle for you guys because I know a lot of you want it. I am working on it. It's very time consuming because I'm making it a Canva editable template. Um, but the time consuming part of it is making this for 12 sizes. So it's coming just, it's coming slowly. And I want to have like all of the small sizes done, all the medium sizes, all the large sizes, and then I'll just release them as I get them all done. Um, like in within their size category. So yeah, it's, it, bear with me, please. It's taking, it, it's taking some time because I can only do it in my spare time and I'm very busy, but I am getting there. I am working on it. But anyway, in the meantime, so this is what I'm using and I basically just plan out or draft out what I want to do for the month what I want to film and then when I actually film it. And in this case, you know, when I'm scheduling things and then I have a little icon of when my reels actually post or when my, po cause I schedule everything or, you know, when my posts actually post. So that's just like a visual, uh, a visual reminder, I guess, that something actually posted on that day. So yeah, I set it up for the entire month and I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it, it keeps me accountable and that I'll keep using it. Um, today is this day here. So initially I was going to have my April setup posting tonight because it's Monday the 8th and I was going to have that posting tonight, but since that did not turn out at all and I trashed it, that won't get posted, but I'm hoping to be able to get this setup completed, edited, uploaded, and then published tonight. Fingers crossed. But anyway, that is that. And then I have my Instagram actual post calendar. So at the moment I've got two reels, one on Friday and one today doing pretty good there. Uh, nothing on YouTube yet, but I do have one that is scheduled to go live tomorrow, Tuesday on the 9th. So I did put a little icon there already, like preemptively. Um, this is my end of month review. This actually worked me really well. So you can see at the end of the month for March, I had a gain of 236. So, and I completely smashed my goal, like way, way past. I actually ended on 17, exactly 1700, which I thought was really cool because I don't think I've ever had like a full round number before. So I thought that was really cool. But yeah, like you can see exactly when I get the most followers. And it's always, always when I do reels. When I did a post, let me see if I can just highlight that for you. So on this particular week, which was week three, I only did one post. I only got 12 followers from that. Uh, I think it was only three, yeah, it was only three days for the first week in March. I got 28 followers. That's not a big deal to a lot of people, but that was like a pretty big deal to me. And then the same thing happened on week three. Uh, sorry, week four, I did a post, one post and one reel, and I got a total of 52 followers out of that week. So I thought that was pretty good too. Uh, and then week five, I, I forgot to add that in. But I mean, you can see very, very clearly that reels bring followers. That's just a little tip. Like if you want to do like a little experiment with your, your channel, post more reels and see what happens. Really, like this is very, very eye-opening. It's great. And then just some information on my most viewed post or reel. And it was a reel that got almost 4,000 views at the time that I filled this out. 
I don't know how many views it's gotten now. Um, and that was my, my piece, chunky planner view. And it was like, it was literally nothing. It was just me doing this. Like just a side to side view. It was like, it was literally nothing. But I just thought that was really interesting that that something so simple gained like almost 4,000 views. That was crazy to me. So, and I got a good chunk of followers off that too. So that that's really good analytics. If you like to follow data like that, I really encourage you to like write it down so that you can go back and you can see in your account what's working, you know, and then what's not working. Overall thoughts, reels, reels, mate, <laughs> more reels. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, and then for YouTube, pretty good. I got a total of uh, 107 new subscribers. So welcome to all of you who have subscribed. I truly appreciate you, which means I smashed my goal, which was a 2200 and I got 2201 on Sunday. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, so yeah, we'll see what this month brings. I'm aiming to obviously do more videos. So we'll see, we'll see if that helps. Um, this is just a little piece of laminate that I put in here because I needed a dashboard with some notes on a new insert that I wanna make. This is another freebie dashboard that is in my Google Drive if you want it. It says Thoughts Arrive Like Butterflies, which is from the song Even Flow by Pearl Jam. If you're a Pearl Jam fan, you already know that. It's one of my favorite Pearl Jam songs actually. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make a little dashboard and then on the back I have the lyrics to Even Flow. This doesn't come as a freebie, by the way. The, the lyrics are just something that I did for myself. That's not part of the freebie. It's just that. Uh, this is a vellum I have. Whoops. That's just an, a vellum that I've had for years. This is one of my sweary dashboards. Love it. This is from Watch Becca Plan. Love it. And then we go into this month, which I've moved my watching and playing to the front of the section of this month because it's like every month I'm writing this stuff down. So I feel like this is really where it belongs. Now I just have my calendar. This is the, my monthly list so far. My calendar, which I kind of fancied up a little bit this month. It's not the best looking at all. Um, and I kind of just felt very rusty. <laughs> putting all these decorations and everything in here just because I haven't done it in so long it just I don't know I just felt very rusty rusty doing it but yeah anyway that's that um oh it's coming undone so this washi I think is um what's her name um I can't think of her name her name's Shan but I can't think of her actual shop name it'll come to me it'll come to me like probably when I'm almost done with this flip through but anyway uh, I really love her washi, but it doesn't stick down to vellum very well. Uh, and this is just a little framed picture of an ibis, which is like one of my favorite birds. I don't even know why, because they're um, <laughs> not very well liked in Australia. We often refer to them as bin chickens through no fault of their own. You know, we, we're taking out their wetlands and, you know, their native habitat. So they really don't have anywhere else to go. Uh, so, yeah, the more we push them out, the more they come into, you know, where we live. And they're constantly rummaging through bins and stuff. So that's why they're called bin chickens. But... Um, I love them and I never used to, but recently I just have developed this affection for these birds. I don't know. I don't even like birds, but I just, I love it. And so I put a little crown on him because every time I see them, I'm like, Hey King, like literally every time I see them, you know, or they're flying over and I'm like, bye Kings, you know, they're off doing their kingly business and there could be women in there. I don't know, but they're all Kings to me. So that's just going to bother me so much. So anyway, I have that there because I love this bird. Uh, this is just an insert from Peanuts Planner Co. It's part of her monthly, no, it's part of her yearly bundle. I'm sure like everyone already knows because lots of people have these. Uh, and this is just a vinyl that I've had for years and I finally put it down. <laughs> I finally put it down um, and I love it. I think it looks absolutely amazing there. My favorite. All right, this is my meal section, which is new from last month. I didn't have this here, but I've decided that if I need to get, I'm going to get serious about really what I put in my mouth. I say that loosely because today I ate chocolate. But today was the first time I have eaten chocolate in a very long time, so like a week. But yeah, I made this little bundle. Uh, so I've got this week's menu and then I've got the shopping list for the menu. This is supposed to go hand in hand with a meal plan that I haven't made yet. But for the moment, I'm just writing down everything that I'm eating and it's working out great. This is this week and then I have the rest of the month in here as well. Just goes all the way through like that. Uh, and then we end on what we actually did eat for dinner and everything that is highlighted in this pretty green color are meals that i've cooked at home or we've cooked at home anything that is not highlighted well except for leftovers because i can't highlight over that white out um, anything that is not highlighted is takeaway and so far we just did kfc wings we did that on friday night this is by cat espresso co and i'm waiting to put some photos in here this is my this week section another one of those planner cards that i made uh, so these are my weeklies and i get a lot of questions on these i made these um, you can get these for free, like anywhere. Like I think pretty much everybody's got a version of this for free. So you could find these anywhere really. But this is basically just an overview of the week where I put in, you know, appointments, our work schedule. My husband's going into the office one day this week. I don't know which day it is. So his is not in here, but you know, my daughter's work hours will also go in here as soon as I find out what they are. Um, and then I have like a this week 
list of things that's going on and I will add to this as things crop up through the week. So that is that for my weekly. Um, this is just a cat vellum that I printed out. <laughs> I freaking love this so much. I love cats. So if you don't know, I've got two. We had three, but we now have two. Uh, all right, and this is my daily section now. This is another one of those planner cards. And these is how I normally do my dailies, just on a plain blank note paper, sheet of note paper that I print out. This is also available in my freebie drive if you want it. I also have a version that's got some washi down the side and a little magic mushroom cluster on the corner there. But yeah, I really like how these turned out. I don't like that day. We're going to pretend that day doesn't exist because it looks dreadful. And then for this week, which the plan with me is coming tomorrow, you'll see that, um, I have changed my inserts. So I am now using, well, at least for this week, I'm using a daily from Phoenix Printable. And this is basically just Hobonichi layout. Blank one looks like that. And yeah, I just wanted to try it. So far, I like it. I really like it. So anyway, I have the entire week already pre-filled out like this before the pen. And yeah, so that's that. I'll be coming to my micro journaling section. Doing decently here, keeping up with it. I need to fill out for today, but yeah, I'm keeping up with that. So that's good, happy with that. This is my reading section. Um, which I am going to be changing up. I still haven't done it yet because I don't really know what I want here. This is from My Manual Planner, and while I love this, it just doesn't work with this dashboard. So I think I may have to take this dashboard out and make a new one that's going to reflect better reflect what I want this section to be. Uh, so yeah, this is just some fan art that I found on Pinterest and then printed on vellum. This is from the book, The Fourth Wing, and this is my favorite page of the whole book, primarily because of this one particular sentence. Uh, and Zayden says to her, there's nowhere in existence you could go that I wouldn't find you, Violence. <laughs> I love it, love, love it. Zayden and Violet, they're like my favorite couple, I love them. I think they even rate higher than Recent and Feyre, but I mean, I'm kind of off Feyre, so anyway, that's neither here nor there. This is my bookshelf from My Minimal Planner. I have to go through and print out all of these book covers. Um, and then I just have like a running book log of all of the books that I have read this year so far and whatever I, what I have DNF'd. And then anything that gets a five out of five for the book gets highlighted. I need to print more of these actually. This is my book of the month. So basically whichever my favorite book of the month was, this is also my minimal planner. Uh, I'll print out a little picture and stick it in. This is also my minimal planner. <laughs> I finished reading The Edge of Madness, which is a post-apocalyptic book. There's no romance in it at all. <laughs> None at all. And I don't even remember how I found it. I think I was just going through Kindle Unlimited and I was like, I really want to read something dystopian, something post-apocalyptic. What's out there? And that was, I think, on the first page. And I was like, all right, cool. I'll download it. Well, I didn't realize that it's a second book in a series of like five books. So I was really pissed at the way this ended. It, it just ended. It just ended. And I was like, okay, like there's been so many things not tied up. There's been so many loose ends, like hello. But yeah, then I realized, well, it's because it's a book of five. So second book in five. That's probably why. And I did download the the third book, but I haven't started reading it yet. So I'm back on a different book at the moment. Now I have my April reading log here. I don't need this at all. This is just superfluous. I don't need it, but I wanted it. So here is the day that I was reading The Edge of Madness. So I'm gonna put a little picture of that book cover here. And then these little book icons represent all of the days that I was reading that particular book. I'm reading, oh, what am I reading now? It's called um, A Touch of Ruin, which is the second book in the Hades and Persephone series by Scarlett St. Clair. So yeah, that will be uh, along here because that's what I'm reading at the moment. And then I'll write down when I finish it. Uh, I only read a few chapters or like a few pages every night because I like to try. I normally, if I like a book, I will just devour it and then sit in silence for like, you know, 10 business days thinking about that book and I'm trying to slow myself down so that I can really savor it. So far it's working out. Uh, okay, this is just, I'm not gonna flip through this because this is just a very sad little comic. It really hit me in such a profound way and in such a good way. It broke my heart, but it's so beautiful that I just needed to print it out. So that's what I did. Um, okay, and then I just have the rest of my reading section here. These are all the books that I'm writing about or have written about. This is a book that I have DNF'd or I'm going actually about to DNF it. I have to just return it to the Kindle store. It's called The Tea House by Josephine Moon and I got to 25% and couldn't keep going with it. it. It's nice. It's a nice book. It's a very well written book. It's a nice book. It's a really nice book but it's just too mild. It's too slow. It's too sweet for me. Yeah so unfortunately I'm DNFing that one. Uh, Serpent in the Wings of the Night. Loved it. Loved it. Very, it's not spicy at all. Like, well, in my opinion, it's not spicy, but I mean, I've read some, <laughs> some questionable stuff, but um, you may find that it could be too spicy. I'm not sure. I don't even know if there's trigger warnings, to be honest, because I don't ever look at trigger warnings. Um, and it, but it was an incredible slow burn. It was like the slowest of slow burns. 
it was like the sloth the sloth of the slow burn world it was very slow but i really like a good slow burn and this this delivered for me so i really loved it and another one i'm not even going to talk about it it's just so terrible another one not going to talk about it so terrible this is the fourth wing another one no, i'm not talking about it uh, so that's about it for the reading section. And then nothing has changed at all in my wellness section, except the fact that I didn't lose anything for the month. So I'm really pissed about that. Uh, and then, yeah, and then nothing has really changed in my home management section either. So no point in showing that. So that is really about it for my April setup. So yeah, that's it. That is it for my setup for April. Uh, I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, I hope you have the very best rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.